nine wins happened before 2010 when there was a renaissance in their football from 2010 onwards eight wins in the last six editions and they're hoping to make it 10 wins in this competition right now there's uh, Mong Luin captain for the Knights uh, trying to spread the ball as wide as possible well that's exactly what the coaches will be telling the players especially with these tricky conditions back to Fio Win. the Philippines press has worked right held Lost possession of the ball, but it falls to a player in white. Maranon frees up Ramsey. Maranon sprints right into the penalty box, hoping for a good delivery by Ramsey. It is a very good delivery, Maranon. Great save by the goalkeeper, but it's poked right home by Galantis. The flag goes up, though. It's offside. Might it be for Maranon, or was it for Galantis? The Manila-born player arriving at the end of it after a great save from the goalkeeper. Yep, Maranon it was, who was in an offside position. Inviting Gresso to step forward once again, and that's a superb pass for Sato. The cross is a very good one. It's fallen kindly for Marianon. Surely this will be a goal. It is. Bienvenido, Marianon. And the opening goal of the game. Slack defending by Myanmar. They chase down Ingresso, and they try to anticipate and try to intercept the ball that was passed out to Sato. Well, when he storms forward like this, Ingresso is almost unstoppable. The two fullbacks, uh, well, the centre back and the left back, uh, played them on. And with the centre back committed to marking one of the players inside the penalty box, it left Marinon free. In fact, uh, two Filipinos were at the far post, two Arsgals right there waiting to pounce. And it fell for the newly neutralised Bienvenido Marinon. Here's Reichelt searching for the goal that will make him the all time top scorer in this competition for the Philippines. Right now, he might play provider. Ramsey's already delivered a super beautiful cross. That's another one, and that's another goal. Well, the man who scored goals for fun in the AFC Cup has suddenly found his goal-scoring boots in the final game of the Suzuki Cup. Second shot on target. Second goal. This time, Ramsey who had already dealt the warning and the caveat uh, to the Myanmar side with the cross earlier, which saw Marinon in an offside position, did exactly the same thing. This time, the Spanish-born targetman kept himself on and got himself ahead of his marker to make it to no chance for the goalkeeper. It's much better play, though, from the men in red. Oh, they've decided to take the shot on. And it's easily gathered by the goalkeeper, although it was zipping across the pitch. Well, they can't give Ingresso this amount of space. You know he's going to be the metronome of the side, and he's just going to spread it inside, outside, and tear you apart. And they pierced open this uh, Myanmar defense again. Reichelt uh, just uh, delivered a super ball inside the penalty box. Long win. And there's some space opening up. The cross is not a bad one. Hansen took a couple of tries before he gobbled it up. Very good moment here for Myanmar. Can they take full advantage of it? The last three minutes, uh, they've certainly pierced open this Filipino defense uh, the way they haven't done it all in the opening part. And that's a lovely cross. That should have been at least one back. Another opportunity gone to waste. Lamang, we talked about him being a goal-scoring fullback while well, he's playing in his uh, favorite left wing back position right now. Uh, would have meant a suspension but it wouldn't count now that's a great delivery and it just went through a sea of heads and it's well watched by Kevin Hansen and players free on the outside as uh, Mo Ong makes that switch that's uh, very good work you'd have to say from Fio Win. was uh, tucked back by Stoibel nutmeg to put some boasting rights over the right Real waste, uh, Stoibel, not the right pass for Reichelt. Uh, Ramsey with the flicks and tricks coming out as uh, Stoibel bends the cross in superbly. And that's another goal. Hat-trick for Bienvenido Marianon. To get on the ascendancy was that offside. And that's why the Myanmarese were claiming Stoibel when he collected the ball. That's uh, Marianon. Now that he's got the appetite for it, all of a sudden, that thirst, that goal-scoring instincts.
goal from Marinon also means that uh, he has now scored four goals, uh, becomes the first Ascal player to score four in a single Suzuki Cup campaign. He has been very shot shy in this competition. Ingresso, and that boot was way too high. What's the punishment going to be right now? Well, the Myanmarese players are surrounding the referee, afraid that it might be red. Ingresso to take this. And they certainly have the size advantage over Myanmar, who haven't dealt with set pieces well in this tournament. The cross is a very good one. And it should have been buried at the far post by Marianon. It really should have been his fourth. Sato, a little too strong with the challenge, and this will be the third booking of the night. No doubt. The majority right here from uh, Bishan Stadium are rooting for. Stoibel almost found goal direct. From the opening match against Singapore, they've always struggled at set pieces. Myanmar be their Achilles heel over the last uh, decade or so in the Suzuki Cup. They're facing another one here. That should have been a goal. I believe it might have been Galantis uh, who prevented his own teammates on the goal line from scoring there. I believe that Galantes saved this on the goal line for Myanmar. No, it wasn't. It was a very good save in the end. The Ascals looking for goal number four. And yet again, way too flat on the delivery from uh, Stoibel. Oh, it's a lovely ball that's played right through. An opportunity now for a consolation, perhaps for Myanmar. They should get this one. The flag doesn't go up. And Myanmar do get a consolation goal against the Philippines. It's the substitute, Tut Piowai, who has scored. It all came from a counter-attack. Ingresso's free kick lacked elevation. And in a flash, they got away with it. Sato couldn't keep that ball from going outside to Kongman. And the two substitutes brought on by coach Antoine He have combined for a tap-in. Is that going to spark some sort of life in the final 15 minutes now for Myanmar? 15 minutes remaining for the Philippines now to put order right back into place. And for Myanmar to create some sort of a comeback. Oh, not far away, Marianon from Philippines and here's goal number four. Bienvenido, Marianon. Well, it was through these situations. Dying moments of this fixture. Mongluin. Cross. Uh, it's gone all the way to the back. And I tell you what, that was an opportunity. Pure white, Mongluin. It's a lovely touch. Uh, and they've escaped the clutches of the Philippines midfield yet again. A player on the outside. The ball's played out to him. There are players inside the penalty box. And Myanmar have got one back to make this a very interesting last five minutes of the game. Same player, Pure White. What an introduction from the subs bench. The super sub has struck again. Well, that's come from nowhere. Once again, it all broke down in the middle of the park for the Philippines as Reyes couldn't win that ball. And the moment they broke away, look at how many players there are. It was almost a five on two situation. Aguinaldo, the only one inside the box, would have been offside if it was played to Kongman, but instead it was played right into the path of Pure Y. And you never, never know, you never know. A loose free kick, which lacked elevation from Ingresso. The second goal from a loose pass in midfield, which uh, Reyes... Uh, the cross is hung to the far post. It should have done a lot better. Should have done a lot better with it. Mian Chan. And a chance to swing this one inside the box. It swung long, way too long. Shouts of defense from the crowd. Good enough to see this one through. Just managing to get across the line, much to the delight of the Filipino crowd here at the Bishan Stadium.